Alright, I got a question for the radio world. Biasing. Um, there's quite a few different ways to do it. Or the one way is a skinny cat, I guess, but... This fat boy originally had a... Regulated bias. So it had a... 5 volt regulating IC that came off the bias relay, but then fed 5 volts into this resistor. It's a 20 ohm, uh, 20 watt, 25 watt resistor. And then from there, it went to a, like a 8 amp diode. And then that would set the bias voltage to, you know, whatever, uh, you know, 0.6 volts or whatever. Then obviously to get to more voltage drop, it wouldn't exceed 0.6 when it was not under load, right? And then, you know, it would droop depending on how much load was on it. But then that went to all eight pills. So they're biasing all eight pills with one circuit. Now, I don't see too many other people doing that. Um, most people do them in chunks of two. Most of the videos I've seen, these are 10 watt, 10 ohm resistors. But there's not a lot of people out there that show it other than say, well, that's what um, Texas Star does. This is their Texas Star. So what they do is they do a 10 ohm, 10 watt. And then they have a divider of like a 1.8 ohm resistor to ground. Right, and a couple of filtering caps, which I have right there on top of my diodes. And then 757 um, Boulder built. I saw him, he was putting his diodes on top of his pills. I asked him why, and he said it's uh, it'll actually do temperature compensation. Didn't know that. And when you get a diode hot, it actually does change um, its variance. So I set mine up there, you know, see how it works. And... You know, so I've got my filter cap, got my resistors, and um, the part I don't understand is, do we check bias under load or not under load? Because the reason why I even started looking into this was because with the biasing in there, everyone said, you know, yeah, biasing makes them run less efficient. They run hotter. So that's why, you know, so many places have decided to go with class B bias is because, you know, it's it's easier on the pills and this and this and that, and it's just good enough to get you on sideband. Well, I like sideband, nothing wrong with sideband, um, you know, so I want to I wanna be biased. But when I turn on my bias and off my bias, whether I'm idling, whether i am got a carrier or got a full modulation, I don't see any amount of current change, like none. <clears throat> so then I started probing around, and, you know, I added uh, ferrite to my meter, so I don't get any RF in my meter, and I don't get any wacky numbers. So, like right now, I am just going to jumper the bias relay, I'm going to give it a ground, that it normally gets from the keying circuit, so I'll give it a ground. So there's my AB bias, I'm seeing point. Six seven volts to the front side of the transformers. I'll turn it on my team. Fifteen amps. All right, turn off my bias. No amps. So it's actually biasing. Like right now, it is legitimately actually biasing. Um, but once I start modulating. Or carrier like that 600 volts changes 600 millivolts <coughs> I start only seeing like half of that um, so now we're back down to class B bias when we're modulating uh, so that's what I don't understand so then over here I did the same circuit sorry about the fan did the same circuit um, initially with a 39 ohm and I had it over here 
So the diode's not on top of the pill. And, um, you know, I'm seeing the same thing where if you bring it down or when you start talking on it, it comes down to, you know, 250 million milli volts. So I decrease the ohms from 39 to 20. And now I'm sitting at like a 700. But when I start talking, it falls to 550. So now I'm like, you know, somewhere between B and AB. So do, are we supposed to be measuring this while in under load or not? Because it just seems like when you measure it not under load, you're not getting real data. But when you measure it under load, like I'm actually pulling more current now. So let me pull my meter over here. See if I can get it all in a frame. Put my ground right there. Just add that in there. And get the mic. And it fell up. It's the worst part about all of this is trying to juggle phones and probes and okay so now let's turn this guy back on so there's 700 that's too much right that's that's class a but that's just with my carrier i'm class a start talking audio Audio. Now I'm seeing less than class AB. Somewhere between B and class AB. So when do we actually take a measurement? Because the way it's set up now, where it's actually dropping voltage to the point under load, seems to be pulling more current the way it's supposed to be under load so I don't know it, it seems like uh, someone who knows more about biasing needs to needs to take a look at that maybe a little deeper and see what we've all been doing and see if I'm doing something wrong or something the industry has just been kind of going with because that's what works and that's what we've been taught and that's what we just keep doing I'm going to read into my uh, Motorola notebook and uh, data sheets and see if I can't find anything more about it but there's a question for all those who know more than I do when do we actually check bias loaded or unloaded 73's